Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to explore a brand new and powerful approach that's changing the future of software development, spec-driven development. And to make it even easier, GitHub has released an open source toolkit called SpecKit. In traditional software development, there's always one big issue. We start by writing specifications, but once coding begins, those specs are often ignored or outdated, and the final product doesn't always match the original requirements. Here, the specification itself becomes the hero. Specs are no longer just documentation, they're executable, and they directly generate working code implementations. What is SpecKit? SpecKit is an open source toolkit from GitHub. Its main goals are build high quality software faster, Shift developer focus from writing boilerplate code to solving real product problems. Let's quickly see how SpecKit works in practice. First confirm is UV installed or not. If not the run the command python-m pip show UV. If it is not installed the run this command in terminal python-m pip install UV after that. Let's quickly see how SpecKit works in practice. First install specify run the command and give the project name, and you can see the GitHub Copilot, Claude Code, and Gemini Key I. I will select Gemini Cli. You should install Gemini Cli in your system. Now I will open the Visual Studio code and select the project folder. Inside First Projects folder, you can see the Gemini folder, Memory folder, Scripts folder, and Templates folder. Secondly, create the sp Write Gemini in the terminal and spec it starts. Spec. Just describe what you want your app to do. Specify build an app to organize photos in albums by date with drag and drop. Notice how simple that is. You didn't talk about frameworks, databases, or even file storage. You just explained the what and the why. This is powerful because you can think like a product owner, not a programmer. Teams can agree on specs before writing a single line of code, and the spec itself becomes executable meaning it can generate working implementations later. Once your spec is ready, you move to the planning phase. Here you explain the technical side, the how. For example, slash plan. The application should be built with Vite. Use minimal external libraries. Stick to vanilla, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Images won't be uploaded anywhere. Metadata will be stored locally in a SQLite database. This step bridges the gap between your idea and actual code. You define the tech stack, like Vite plus SQLite. You set constraints, minimal libraries, no cloud uploads. You give structure to how the project will be built. So in short, slash specify equals describe the idea slash plan equals define the implementation details. Together, these commands replace endless requirement docs and technical meetings with a living, executable workflow. Now slash tasks, break down the specification and plan into small, actionable tasks. Each task should be implementable and testable in isolation. Write tasks in clear, developer-friendly language so that I can review them one by one. This will output a task list like Set up project with Vite create database schema for albums. Add drag and drop album reordering. Build tiled photo preview grid. Now, you or your AI coding agent can pick these tasks one by one and implement them. The philosophy behind spec driven development is really interesting. Intent driven development first define the what, then the how, rich specifications. Built with guardrails and structure refinement process. Not just one-shot code generation, but multi-step refinement AI-powered. Advanced AI models interpret the specs and generate real code. So that's an overview of spec kit and spec-driven development. What do you think? Is this the future where specs directly become code and developers just guide the process? And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on future videos about AI and development.